Ginger and cardamom sitting in a tree. C H I A T I T for me. Hmm. Okay. First hey. cut. What's up, Corbin? I'm Rick. That was terrible. Thank you. Uh, today we got a food video, uh, and this is actually, there's not any commentary. They're just going to be making the food in front of us. It's a very famous street food in Mumbai. So we're just going to watch people cooking. Yes. No oh, talking. Mumbai's Overloaded Vegetable Sandwich. All right. And it's a, a, there's a Mumbai, I think it's called the Mumbai... The Bombay sandwich or something like that. Okay. It's very famous. Um, there's many different variations of it, but it's a massive, massive sandwich. I would hope so, being called overloaded. Um, but uh, yeah, so let you you guys let us know if you've All right, had there's this. No, there's no narration. There's, there's no, no narration. We're just going to watch them make the overloaded vegetable sandwich. Yes. Okay. Do you like food? I adore food. <laughs> that, was that was great. great. Wow. <laughs> Incredible tomato sandwich. Juicy tomato though. Yeah. Wow. Alright, there's bell peppers and there's cheese. This almost looks like it's some kind of a, a, a pizza. Look at the work 
craftsmanship of the cutting of the tomatoes. I've never seen tomatoes cut like that. That knife must be extremely sharp. One tomato covers the entire... I'm so impressed with that. That's so dangerous right there. And that's so fast. His hands are so callous. A lot of tomatoes. Wow. It's like two full Roma tomatoes on, on each one. And all fresh, like none of this stuff was like pre-sliced, except for the onions. Those were already pre-chopped, but the potatoes weren't pre-sliced. The tomatoes aren't pre-sliced. Those tomatoes look delicious. Delicious. I feel sorry for anybody who's like Alexis. Alexis does not like tomatoes. I know there's a lot of people that don't like tomatoes. I love tomatoes. More. I can almost smell that one. Yeah. I bet it's gear masala. Like ground gear masala. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. Or what are they called? Capsicums? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. The capsicum. Good job. I think that's the official name for the yeah, the thing, and we just call You know they're male and female bell yep. peppers, yeah? Yep. That freaked me out when I first saw that. I was like, what? One is three, and one is four, and yep. one. Jeez. Cheddar! I don't think it's cheddar. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's not. It looks like it's more maybe mozzarella. Melt that puppy? Mm. Oh, my stars. Well, I would have absolutely, if I would have known about it, I would have absolutely ordered this in Oh, life. yeah, absolutely. No, and it's making me want a Jersey Mike sandwich now really bad. Well, there's one right over there. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like this, the ambient noise. Oh, another layer of the buttered bread. Now, is this, now is this going to be the top? Yeah. Why didn't that one get cheese? I guess someone didn't want the dairy. Now is there going to be another layer? Yeah, by the way, this is all just for one person. <laughs> wow. Are those going to go like in a fryer? So it's a tr it's a double layered. Then what? Panini present. Yep. You think you have a bigger stove? <laughs> yeah, seriously. You only do like two at a time. What's that? More butter. More butter. Or is, it, is it a butter it's mixture? Maybe a ghee mixture. Probably ghee. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. quiver. <laughs> oh, they got the four. he put three on there, so maybe they can put four. Oh, and that cheese is gonna melt. Oh, cut it. Cut it, baby, yeah! That's right, show that sandwich who's boss. Oh. oh. It's gonna be warm and toasty. Pull it apart. Look at that, pull it apart, pull it apart! Please pull it apart! Somebody eat it. You got this? Oh man, I wanted to see the insides melty and that's something. Oh. I mean, if I knew every all those ingredients, you could easily make that though. Yeah, yeah. but you need to know what the the, yeah, yeah, the, the green stuff was. The green stuff. What if it's ghee? If it's yeah. butter? If it's there's a lot of options. And it's probably made with a lot of love too. A lot of love. Everything tastes better at a restaurant. And, usually. Do you have a panini grill thing, Majiggy? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So we need one of those. And it always tastes different when someone else makes it for you. Yeah. Like you can make the best sandwich in the world and then someone else makes it for you, it's gonna taste better. Yep. Same yes. ingredients. Absolutely. Oh. Well, I'm hungry now. Me too. <sighs> Let us, Jersey Mike's, it will be anticlimactic. Let us know if you've ever had the Mumbai sand or Bombay or yeah, whatever the... Overloaded vegetable sandwich. Because, uh, mm, that looked good. Always let us know more street food videos, food videos. I look at all this. I'm looking at all the food and all the thumbnails. Bring it on. So hungry. Um, oh. Have you have you found any good Indian food? Uh, mini. Oh, she, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Homemade. Homemade Indian, is always best. Indian food, but homemade sincerely, food. the closest I have found that is actually worthy is, is that 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 uh, the the Bollywood food truck. Oh yeah, because they're from Mumbai, and you look in the back, and you can see all of her ingredients across the top. So it's basically this Indian lady from Mumbai. It's her kitchen that she takes basically what she cooks at home and puts it in the food truck. So if I ever see, if you ever see the Bollywood food, it says you know Bollywood food truck, mm. fantastic. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. Mm. Let us know more food videos we can react to down below. Juice.